Are you a musician or a music producer and you want to be heard? You're looking for a method of distributing your sound out there to like to the likes of Spotify, Apple Music, to Tidal, and all these big names. Now it's easy using a platform like DistroKid. In this video, I'll be walking you through step by step on how to do this, how to get your music out there. Stay tuned. Without wasting your time, let's jump in. So you begin to do this by simply going to Google and type in this kid. This kid. Okay. When you do this, it pops up like a number of choices for you on Google and of course you're supposed to choose the first one this trick hit here. This is an ad. Okay, which is fine. But I would say choose this one. All right. This trick hit there. So if we click on that this trick hit um, link on Google, it leads us into a page that looks like this. This trick hit with this logo right here, a blue background like you see. Now I'm taking my time to tell you how it looks like and show you this because I feel like there could be fixed out there any minute. I don't know just to avoid you going to a fake website. This is how it looks with a laptop and phone on the screen this way. It looks like that. It says musicians sell your music now, upload your music to stores now. Yes, this is a very easy way to do it. Now, just let's just read a few um, details on this website. This show key promises to get your music into Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Pandora, Amazon, Instagram, YouTube, Tidal, iHeartRadio, Deezer, plus a ton of other stores and streaming services. And the best part of it is that it keeps your, your, your royalty for you. It collects all your royalty, 100% of your royalty every month. And so it's not like you're getting like 70% um, or half of it. No, you get to keep all your royalty, all your earnings. In stores, 20 to 10 to 20 times faster than any other distributor. Now, the thing is sometimes you distribute your music and then it takes a long time to get into stores. In this case, no, it gets in there very, very fast. And all you need to do is to pay only $19.99 sense now this is for this is for like you're paying this for all your music guys this is a yearly payment that's made for all your music how easy is that you don't have to pay per single track no or release or album no you pay this one time fee per year for all your music for unlimited uploads of your of your music now this is this is like this is like different from other platforms i know you know that if you've been looking um, for other platforms and this is a place to go guys it's a place to go so let's just get in let's get in so um yeah without wasting your time all you have to do here is a sign up with this um on this page which is a um, distro kit page you put your email in here and then you put your password here and then you confirm password and you sign up when you do this, now I won't be doing this because I already have an account with District Kid. I actually have two accounts with District Kid um, distributing my, my music. So I think that I would, I shouldn't need to do this, but just put your email, your password, and then you confirm password and you sign up. When you do this, it sends an email into your, um, a confirmation into your email, and then you click on the confirm button. Once you do that, you get into a page which I'll show you soon. So once you do that, you should be able to get into the signing page. Be able to sign into the trick heat. Now, um, it will look like this. Okay. You know what? Let me just pop a decoy email. Okay. Let's say let's say I have a decoy email. Let's say this email. It's like um, it's like an email I just um, created for this purpose. All right. So a password. Let us say that should do. Confirm password. So, okay, just a 
same thing. Once you do this and you sign up, the reason I'm doing this is because some people will just feel like, you know what, this is not a walkthrough. So I promise to walk you through and I will, okay? I will. So I'm walking you through right now, showing you step by step. Once you get you do that, you get to this page. This page here shows you the different levels in DistroKid subscription. It shows you the the first level is called musician for nineteen for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents per year. One artist or band name is required here. For the next one, musician plus, you have to sign up for thirty five dollars and ninety nine cents per year, and it allows you to put like two artists or band names in it. And then um, the next one for seventy nine dollars ninety nine per year, which like it gives you unlimited song access and everything. Sorry, unlimited five to. It gives you five to um, five plus artists or band names, and all of them have unlimited songs and unlimited lyrics to upload and all that. And it pretty much distributes to all the platforms. Now, I would say, for the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on this one, the musician one band name, which I believe is what you should start with. If it's your first time, start with this because um, it gives you it gives you almost everything that you could need for a startup musician um yeah so it can it's it can really serve you if you use this one uh the, the good thing is that once you're here you can always upgrade to this or this so it depends on what you expand into so if you're like a single musician or single band please go for musician here so when we do this click on this continue it takes you to the page where you should um where you're meant to enter your payment details your card and all that now I wouldn't do this now because I'll be like wasting $19.99, so I would just leave it, skip this. Okay, once you do that, you click your country, and then be sure it's correct, and then you select, so you end, you click on join. Once you join, it takes you into your pretty much signed up, pretty much signed up. So I want to show you how the page should look like, okay, after you've um, signed up successfully. It's meant to look like I'm just going to log in myself now. I'm just going to log in. So I'm just going to sign up from here, sign out, and log in proper. So I'm doing this because I already have an account, right? So, but if you don't have an account, what you should do is just go through the process like I described to you, and then you should see a page like, just give me a minute, give me a moment. I will show you what it should look like. You see a page like, hold on, hold on a second. You should see a page like I want to use one of my accounts. Right? I believe the page you should see should look like like this. So now I'm just logging in. Okay. Once you log in, you're supposed to. Okay, it's requesting me to enter my passcode. Okay, it's been sent to my email. So I go to my email. Okay, it's it's just done for security reasons. All right. So it's nothing. Not a problem at all. So I just um, that shouldn't hold us down at all. So I'll go to my email and just grab the code right away. Okay, so let's see Yahoo, 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 Yahoo. Now I'm blurring some things on this page because it's it's revealing my personal details, which I don't quite appreciate. So that's the reason. I hope you can bear with me. So yeah, so I'm just going to my email to grab the code that was sent to me so district kid sent me verification code which is 528 okay let's have a look i'll just grab it and post it there to continue all right so uh, So now I've done that and it's been able to log me into my account, which looks just like this. So this is how your account will look when you have posted stuff. But of course, if you're like new and it's a new account, you won't see all these postings and all this like all this music, right? So you'll be good. You just be like empty, right? So you require to upload and not do all that. So this is how it looks here with the logo right here to the left. 
and then we will release this down here but like i said in the new account there's no releases right so to what you have to do is to upload your music you have to go here to upload okay and i'll take you through that in a minute all right and then to see your music that's already been uploaded it's right here you go to music And it shows you just this page, right? This is the music page. It shows you all your music down, right? So, sorry, excuse me. So, um, yeah. And then to see your payment details, you go to bank. I won't go there because I don't need to. Now, let's focus on um, what we have now. Let's say we want to upload. Uh, before which, I would say it gives you a huge opportunity to even collaborate with people and put your music here and tell the, the platform how the splits work out okay that's in the split side this is actually a new a new part that came up on the website right so uh, let's go into upload let's say we have a new track on board and want to like upload it to the show kit to send it to spotify and all that you click on upload upload and it tells you all the services all the streaming platforms that they that they send your music to spotify happy music itunes instagram and facebook TikTok, youtube music um, to amazon soundtrack by twitch and all and the rest of them so um what you do at this point is you simply you can check or uncheck anyone okay for this one okay let's say you don't want it to be sent to TikTok, you uncheck it it's very simple just just uncheck it um which i don't think you should be doing because you would like your music everywhere right so just i will say you know what let it stay checked so i won't touch anything here because i don't think i want to i want my music to be on um snapchat snapchat beta it's like a test uh, snapchat um streaming okay so i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend that right now because it's new right it's been tested so i would say you know what leave them all checked and go down and if you're having like if you if your mind is probably all checked because i've been sending music to this um to this platform right but if it's your first time and you see that they are unchecked please check them all check them all yes right so going from that you move down you choose the number of songs that you want to upload let's say we have this one song okay we'll say let's say we have only one song if you happen to have uh if it's an album I have like 12 songs there you go you choose 12 but I have only one song so I'm just gonna choose like one song right and then they're asking you has it been released previously the answer is no if it's yes you tick yes right but let's say no and then your artist name the band name let's say mine I chose Beats Radio right Beats Radio but you can choose something else and then it asks you um, your artist is the artist already in Spotify if it's already in Spotify now you what you can do is choose it will tell you it ask you to choose the artist name right the artist name so that you can find it and still post your new songs under that channel in Spotify so it's very important if it's like a new brand new song and you're like brand new to all the platforms then you you your answer is supposed to be no of course right so for me at the time i was already on the platform so i chose yes right i was already spotify so i chose yes so um you go down there it asks you for next for um your release date now i'm skipping this side because it's for an artist that's already on spotify and already on, um, on apple music right choose yes and yes and to ask you for the names on spotify on the link and you put it right here okay so we are this is like a brand new it's brand new so i wouldn't say choose anyone i'll just say click on no you see no and then keep moving so it's asking for a release date let's say july 22nd which is today's date uh, okay do you want like a pre-order let's say you don't want a pre-order because you don't want anyone to buy it until the release date that's fine if you want that you choose yes okay so you keep going down it's asking you for or a record label name now you can choose that by yourself you can choose that it's quite simple you can choose that but if you don't have a record label name then leave it um i think it's mandatory right so you can actually put one design one yourself and um 
Um, if it's already one that you've been using before, you can put your record label name. If so, but if you're like solo, right, you can put your name that you want, right? Like that that music, right? Let's say uh, Beats Radio Music, for example, right? But you can't leave it blank just for the record. You can't leave it blank. All right. So moving on from there, it's requesting the album cover, which is right here. Um, you have to drag and drop an image, right? An image. So what I do normally when I get to this point, I simply go to Canva, okay? Canva dot com going to canva it tell it gives you it gives you um it gives you options okay to my canva is quite a pro version right so i have like all the i have like all almost all almost all the um, sizes possible so let's see what we'll do is we'll go back here and grab the dimension this dimension is like a square dimension right the square so let's see if we can find that. Let's type in this true kid to see if it's going to pop up. This true kid, no. This true kid wallpaper, or oh. this true template. Now let's see. Let's go to, let's just type in Spotify, okay? Spotify template. Okay, Spotify template. Because this is, it has the same template as this true kid Spotify template. So it's actually like a square. If I have a look again, it's like a square, right? Almost like a square. This is, it's not really a square. It's not really a square. Yeah. It was like a rectangle, right? But it has, it's similar to Spotify's um, templates. So let's work with that. Spotify templates. It leads you into that sort of template, which is like this one is like this. So let's click on it. I'm doing all this to show you how you can make this work for yourself right so this is how it should look like this size of uh, this this template um, dimension so you can right here choose your name or you put your artist name here now the guide is on the cover make sure your artist name appears and then the title of the song appears alongside with it it's very important so let's say your name is your name is um your name is let's say this will be some name. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna type in. Let's say you're like your name is. Uh, let me spend a moment. Okay, let's use a um, pro. Let's say you're like um, okay. I don't know. Pro DJ. Okay, let's use that pro DJ. That's your name. All right, and then you have um, then your the name of your song is let's say. Your other track is let's say let's say is um, um, let's say dance. Your your song is called dance, right? You can do this. Make sure basically okay. I'm not gonna go into I'm not gonna go into like the design and all that because I know that you should know that already. So the point I'm making here is make sure the artist name and the title of the song appear. On the poster, sorry, on the um, the 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 thumbnail of the music, or on the on the sort of like the album cover of the music, or the song cover. Make sure that it appears right here. If not, this kid will give you issues. It's gonna say, okay, it's not well, it's not well designed. So it's not that like you have to go in and do like a whole bunch of stuff there. Just make sure that you add the artist name and the name of the song or the title of the song are on the cover. So once you do that, you download it right here. You download it and yeah, I wouldn't have to do that, right? You down let us do it, you know what? Let's just do it. Um, you download it. If you're new to Canva, you might need to get an account with Canva, right? It's for free. They've got a free version, so you can get that for yourself. Once you do that, you download the image and then you upload the image here or you drag and drop it right here that should serve you drag and drop right here once you do that it accepts it if it's the correct dimension it should be the correct one because i've done it before and that is the correct dimension the spotify dimension okay so going on from there your language english if it's not english choose the language um the primary genre should be r b or pop or dance or classical or country or folk, you choose the right um, genre of your music here, and then um, 
you choose the secondary genre, right? It's like what this means is like, for instance, if we chose um, if we chose blues, let's say blues, right? Your secondary genre should be something like um, let's say um, R and B, maybe should be R and B. Let's see, should be R and B soul, I guess, because it's not like it's the same. It's just like it's like the nearest to blues. I believe R and B soul is nearest to blues, right? So that's what this secondary genre should be. It shouldn't be the same as this. It should be like slightly different. The reason is because when it's sent to these platforms, right? It's classified by these platforms. So they need to know which class it belongs to. So they can put it into the same class on the platform there, like Spotify on the, on, or Apple Music or iHeart Radio and all that, right? So that's the reason they're asking for all these details. Now, if you do that, you go to the track and make sure that this track title is the same as that on your album cover. Do that. Then you can add the collaborator here if you like, if you have any. You add the collaborator, but I don't, so I'm not going to add there. Then going down from there, you see the it's asking you for version info. You can skip that. No, this is the normal version, okay? This is the normal version. It's, it's not a remix, it's not a bonus track, it's a normal version. Next is asking for the audio file. Here, all you have to do is to drag and drop or you have to click here and upload the track they accept mp3 and wave files i believe mp3 and wave files so your song should be in one of those formats because you cannot upload someone's song you don't have the right to so the, uh, once it gets to apple music they will turn it down and you have an, an issue with your account so just make sure that it's an original song it's your song and all that so yeah Going from there, it's asking about the lyrics, if it's explicit, no, in my case, if it's in your case, yes, choose yes. Is it a radio edit? No radio edits, are, they are radio edits sometimes, right? So mine is no instrumental. If it's a beat, you choose this song is an instrumental, right? Right here, and contains no lyrics. If it's a full song, you put this as a song, and it contains lyrics. So mine has lyrics, okay, all uh, right. So it's asking here, preview clip start time. You can say, let streaming services decide. It's just like, you know, like preview, whenever you're previewing a song, sometimes what plays is not the full song, right? It's like a, a snippet of it plays. The snippet can be from the start or from the middle or somewhere like that. So. If we let the services decide, the streaming services decide, I think it's better because they know what's best or what they normally do. Let's say it's from the first few seconds of the song or, you know, the last or the middle, they know better, right? So just don't get into all that. It's really complicated, right? So just choose that and you should be fine. And then um, the track price, you can choose the track price here, okay? Gives you options like 069, 099, $129. Now, normally most tracks are like 099, just just like 0 0.99, like 9 cents. So you should be okay with that. But guys, feel free to like make it like one dollar and um, 29 cents. It's fine. It's up to you. But just make sure you choose something that it's like it's it's tolerable, right? This is like this is like a dollar, a dollar, and you can add up whenever you have like a massive sale. So I'll just say go for this one. Okay, so here are like some add-ons for the music. If you want them, you can add them, but they're not, they're not compulsory. You can, now the thing is that sometimes it's important to add them, right? I will tell you the ones that are important to add. You can add the one for YouTube content ID. You can add that one. I will say skip this too. And then, um, and then um, that's all you, I think you should add. Now, what this one does is that sometimes you see some songs or when you click on the buy of some songs on YouTube, you can see that it has some rights below that. You can see um, it's um, distributed by, um, let's say, by Universal, stuff like that, right? That's what this is all about. Let me show you what I mean by this, okay? This is like taking you out of the whole place, but let me just show you what I mean by this. Let's go to YouTube, all right? Let's go to YouTube. YouTube. Let's go to... Now I want to show you something about that, okay? I'll show you something. And um, let's say, let's go to Jay-Z, okay? Jay-Z, to Jay-Z, Jay-Z. 
I want to show you what that really means. This is Jay-Z's um, channel, right? If you click on it, you can see that his music is licensed to, it's probably, let's see what's licensed to. Let's go to one of his songs, right? This will not play, okay? I'm going to mute it. So it doesn't play. It says muted. Now, this is Jay-Z's um, channel. I'm going to pause as well. So it doesn't play, okay? I don't want no copyright problems. So now, if you go to his description page, right? Let's show more. You go down here. You see that this song is licensed. You see? Songs licensed to YouTube by CMRAA, Solid ATV Publishing, and all that. So now, this is what they're asking you for when they ask you for that detail in the stroke here, which is this detail here the YouTube I, um, um, ID system. What it does is that it licenses your music, your music to YouTube in a way that nobody can copy your music. If anybody uses your music, you get the royalties on their channel. Okay, let's say someone is using your sounds for like a, a background sound, you will get all their royalties if you use this. It's a way of like making money on YouTube, and um, it's really really good. It's really good because sometimes people like use your songs for things and they blow up, and then you 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 um, they give you no credit and all that. So I think it's good for you to use this if you really want to make the best out of it. Now, if you tick that, it's going to add some more cost to your account, okay? I know it's for $19, but if you click on this one, it's going to add $4.95 to your bill. So, it's supposed to be posting this music for free after you subscribed per year. So, but if you add this, it's going to add you, it's going to add the cost of this service to your bill. So, let's say for this demo, okay, let's just say you don't want this, this um, the content ID system. Let's take it off. Then you go down here and you click on all these boxes here. Like they're like you, uh, Distro Kids terms, right? And all that, the agreement. You click on them and then you click on done right here. Click on them, click on done right here. So once you do this, it give, it shows you a long bar that streams through, um, through to the end. That's the bar that shows you um, how the extent to which your upload has been completed okay and so when it completes it's completed and for any reason if it has any issue with your poster or whatever it tells you we've got a problem with this you can change it right so it's not like you shouldn't have an issue with this it's very straightforward using this um, kit now this is like a really this is like a really in-depth walkthrough so you can't miss it using this kit I want to say that I've used this kit for like um, since 2017 and it's been very good for me. It's been very good. I've made lots of money on this kit um, doing this. And the good thing is that it's, it, it's, it's cheap, guys. It's cheap. $19.99 to do that. Okay. So I would say, guys, do this and you'll be fine. You'll be fine for an, uh, a new musician and all that. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, okay. so that's that's pretty much it for this trick here and this video. I should, um, I should wrap up the video and uh, see you in my next video. But guys, don't forget, this trick here looks right like this. When you're looking for this trick here, look for all the right logos and the right pages, right? This trick here dot com. Nothing else. That's the website, all right? So yeah, it's, it's um, I'll place a description of it, sorry, I'll place um, a link in my description where you can get the exact website, okay? The thing is that I'm not saying that there are fakes out there, but I'm just saying that there could be any time, right? So so that you can get the right, the right um, website once you click. I'll put a link in my description, and then um, it can take you straight to your district kit, like a referral as well. So just to let you know, it's a referral code and it's a referral um, link. So, but it takes you to the right website. So that's it for this video. And thank you for um, watching so far. And I shall see you in my next video. All right, until then, it's been Bruno and have a wonderful day.